present since the dawn of humanity on this planet. Holistic medical care is three-pronged, covering the energy aspect, the technological aspect, and the physical aspect. These three, foundationally, are what determines how a human being is treated as a whole. Allow me to share an incident early in my life that was awash with the practice of ancient medical care. Deep in the village of Kapkoi, Trans Nzoya County, in the western part of Kenya, yours truly fell ill, and as was the norm, the redeeming juice of the neem tree, Marubaini, as is locally known, had was called upon, was called upon. So it, the leaves were boiled and the juice that was obtained was taken daily for a course of three days. In tandem with this, the religious leader, the local religious leader, as was fondly called Zewa Kijiji, was invited to offer his prayers for this sick young child. And because this spirituality was very pertinent to the healing process of all the community members. And make no mistake, within two days of this, I was well. Don't think it was a coincidence. But this was the medical practice then. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Eric Wekesa Wanjala, a general physician with training in critical care medicine. During my early years of medical practice, I was in a pediatric critical care unit as a medical officer. A child was brought in on their second day of life, and he spent seven months of his, of his infancy in the ICU, intensive care unit, swinging from diagnosis to diagnosis. All this while, the parents kept a positive mindset, saying that our firstborn son will surely make it. And as certainly as I am a witness, the child pulled through and is currently as fit as a fiddle. Coming closer home is my family experience. Firstly, is my sister, Kayanga, who succumbed to the complications of breast cancer. It's vivid how she swung from positive to negative psyche since the people she trusted were on opposite sides of the spectrum. On the one side was the religious leaders who maintained that everything is possible, even the healing of cancer. On the other side was the clinical team who reiterated that this was an incurable illness and all they were doing was to slow it down. Secondly was my elder brother, Robert, who committed suicide, leaving a suicide note addressed to me. This actually reflected to me the importance energy aspect of medicine among the foundational pillars. Thirdly, and the most recent, was my mother, Eunice, who succumbed to the complications of COVID-19. At the height of research on the best interventions for COVID-19, 
This also underlined the importance of the technological aspect and the physical aspect of medical care. So why these references? They point us towards the importance of the three pillars of medical care, holistic medical care. So let's take a step back and shine a floodlight on the historical journey of medical care. It first began as unwritten and recorded history with edible plants being separated into either medicinal or poisonous groups. And the practice was to document these medicinal properties and pass it on to others. An example is Jeremy Norman's record of the ancient Mesopotamia, which was written on clay tablets using cuneiform signs based on rational observations of the body. According to Encyclopedia Britannica, magic and religion played a significant part in holistic medical care with the early physicians early medicine men being either witch doctors or sorcerers who used counter spells, charms, and incantations. So this was interesting because these primitive physicians practiced treating the human being as a whole. That is taking care of the body as well as the soul. Progressively, the current practice of medicine has evidence that of the practice, which is evidence-based, and is spurred by technological advancement in aspects such as digital and, and digital and telemedicine, which refer to remote diagnosis, which refer to remote diagnosis using telecommunication technologies. Then is robotic surgery, which uses robotic systems, a computer console, to treat and diagnose minimally invasive conditions with a surgeon at the computer console. Then we have radiation medicine, or what we call nuclear medicine, where radiopharmaceuticals are compounds that are used for diagnosis and treatment of conditions. However, there's one aspect that has escaped the glaring conventional publicity. This is what I refer to as the intangible aspect of medical care. And this what some may call spiritual well-being. It is the fabric that underlies the principles of placebo and nocebo. So you may ask, what are these principles? So placebo effect is the induction of, Ill, of, of wellness when the person is given even a sugar pill or water due to the positive mindset. On the contrary is the nocebo effect, where there is induction of illness due to a negative mindset, where the person didn't have the illness in the first place. The good news is that complementary and alternative medicine offers this platform to provide the wholeness of care. Complementary and alternative medicine is the medical practice and products that offer a platform for the practice of medicine considering the three foundational pillars, that is the energy aspect, technological aspect, and the physical aspect. According to Globe Newswire report of 2022, 
complementary and alternative medicine had reached a market value of 100 billion US dollars in 2021 and is projected to triple by the year 2027. So this points us towards the need and the importance of holistic medical care. So my point is the energy medicine aspect has been neglected for a while and is the missing link to the completeness of medical care. So going forward, we need we, that is me, that is me, you, and the whole society needs to incorporate this energy aspect into medical care because the future is complementary. The future is holistic. The future is a confluence of these myriad aspects, just like the pre-medical physicians focused on that is treating the human being holistically. Thank you.